keep them more vertical. More, more vertical you have, the more likely it's going to feed gravity feed down there. So, I wonder what was in that thing. I don't know. I'm going to find out when I take it apart. Something just burned off out there. That's really weird. It looks like a braiding. It looks like it was something that was supposed to be fireproof. Or at least heat resistant. Let's see if it falls apart. Yeah. So whatever it was, it just vaporized and turned it to ashes. I didn't, don't remember seeing anything in there. So I'm going to put another piece of bamboo in there. Now if you notice, okay, it's burning pretty good. There's not too much smoke coming out the other end. This is... I don't know if you can even see it. I can see some. I'm going to stand up and go over there, and then I'm going to can this one, come about done for the night. Um, if I can get up without falling over. All right. Always a plus. Yeah, look at that glow. Oh, my gosh. That's with the light on now. Turn the light off. Look at that sucker glow. Oh, my gosh. That's something, huh? That's just from little tiny sticks of bamboo. Okay, so a rock, does a rocket stove get hot? Yeah. Does it get hot enough to heat you up? Yeah. And when I get my, I don't have, I don't know where my laser thermometer, I have a laser, laser, laser thermometer gun, and I could be taking, you know, temperature readings on this thing, underneath it anyway. So that's retaining heat. There's wood around. There's like two pieces, four, six, about six or eight pieces of firewood around the piping too. So that could actually get hot enough to maybe light up. I don't know. Find out if it lights up. Wouldn't do much. But I see some smoke coming out this end. If it was gonna, let me get over here and see what's going on over here. I did. I put the thing in here. I don't remember. Yeah, I did. I lit it and put it in here. I just pulled the wire out. Nothing on it. The cube is burned up. Don't smell anything coming out of here. I can hear it. I can put my head over. And I wish I had my la laser gun. That's hot. That I, I would burn my hand if I put my hand over there too long. That's not. It could get a lot less. If I had more thermal mass, it would absorb more of the heat and turn it into the store in a thermal mass. The only thermal mass I have here is this dumb thing here and the logs around it. And that's it. So I think what I hear down there is water pop, popping. There's nothing left of this blanket at the bottom, then I, I know that the, they got hot enough to burn, burn this blanket into nothing. And that may be the case. water sizzling down in there. Well, I'm about to call it quits for the night. It's chilly out here. I'll fire it up again and we'll have more fun. Okay, you guys, I hope you pay attention to this. This is the way you can warm a house, warm an apartment. I've always had the idea that people, it says, I've heard people live in an apartment, fourth floor, say in Wisconsin or somewhere, when Minnesota where it's really cold. They could put a rocket stove in, build it during the day, light it up at night. Nobody would know. They wouldn't hardly smell it because once it's lit up, it wouldn't make any smell. Or, or smoke, either one. You could actually heat an apartment with a rocket stove and just run it through 
like I always thought like apple boxes full of uh, rocks, you know, filled banana boxes with cans of water and rocks and stuff. Thermal mass would those fire at one time during the night. It should stay hot all day long. You know, it stay hot the same part of the day. Nobody's watching you fire it up again, you know. If it's like a stealth situation, it's fired up at night and that's what I want this to be able to do. See so this thing you could put this in the apartment, put it in boxes, you know. In fact I may do that as one of my iterations, my you know, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 version, you know. I'll do that. I'm thinking water probably came down here to this end. That's what we're hearing there, I think, is water. I sprayed a bit down in there. Vertical feed works good, though. That's working. All right, well, that's about it. 5.55. Um, yeah, we bless everyone. Uh, listen and hear, people. Hear and listen. Lock this into your mind. You can do this. You can build this out of... This is 6 centimeter pipe, 2.36 inches. Okay. 6 centimeter wide diameter. You could do it with a muffler pipe. You know, muffler pipe is fluted. You can slip it into each other. Look at it on Amazon. Look at a, I'll try to put a link on there for, of muffler pipe, right? They have all kinds of curls and 180 degree, you know, like a loop where it goes back to itself. You can make a heck of a configuration. I want to do that sometime. Get a set of them and do it. Build one out of that and show that it can be done, how easy it is. So basically what I'm looking at here is I can build a, have a kit for maybe, I don't know, $150, $200. I don't know. I don't even know. You know, be able to ship them out. Once you get it in your hands and you see, follow the instructions and learn how to do it, you can build it out of anything. You can build it out of cans, anything, you know. That 100 mile an hour, 600 mile an hour tape, that metal tape, you could tape 10 cans together, cut the ends up both. And that's another thing. They start change 10 cans. Now you can't cut the bottom off as easily. Before you could can open both ends of it. Now you can't do that. So you can't butt them together, you know, and make stoves out of them, piping out of them. Anyway, okay, that's about it. I'm going to can it now. Right now, there's no smoke coming out of there at all. I don't see any smoke, visibly see any smoke. Very cool. I don't see any smoke at all. And yet, this is burning down in this end just fine. Calm down a little bit. It's not, the pipe's not glowing anymore. That's kind of, kind of interesting. All right. Well, that's about it. So I'll do another one some other time. I'm tired. All right. Good night. Yeah, we all start on. Thank you. I hope, hope people are listening. I hope they take this to heart and learn how to do it and maybe buy one of my kits from me, you know, and, uh, and you can learn how to do it real easily and you can see that it can be done. You can prove it. I want to do is with this. I want a proof of concept. You know, that's what it was. What's the smallest, cheapest way I can set this up? So I did it, you know. It's like one time I built an antenna system. Cheapest way I could do it, you know. And uh, it worked. I mean, that night we had a... You know, we were in the middle of a drought in 2012, right? That's when I built it. It just, it just happened to be when I finally got around to building it. I studied it for like 12 years, and then I finally built it. And long story, but basically, I, I wanted there to be rain, but no lightning, no thunder, no noise, just calm rain all night long and I, that's what we got we got rain all night long because it was really amazing so we could do that over the whole Ozark Plateau I believe all right this is Jerry Diamond with if you're listening to this you are the remnant we'll find out more about my problems here later not I got any problems but it still burned really good see see that's gone down that's vertical piece is working perfectly very cool if I got a really long piece which I do I have some really long pieces I think do be a strip bamboo green while it's green it's easier to strip you can just sit there and strip Ship the whole length of it. I'll do that. Get some green and then do it. And then let it dry. It'll dry straight. All right, good night. Yeah, we bless our own. Bye-bye.